Have you ever asked yourself, what is God's will for my life? Greetings, everyone. My name is Jesse, and today I have been given the opportunity to lead us in prayer for God's will. See, allow me to shed some light on this concept. In my early 20s, at the beginning of my walk with Christ, I embarked on a journey to understand God's will for my life. However, I felt lost and unsure of where to start. Attending weekend services and connect groups seemed like a good beginning, but deep down, I knew there was more to it. I sensed a stronger calling to discover God's will that extended beyond these activities. You see, to understand God's will, we need to ponder a few questions. And one of them is, how can we know God's will? See, allow me to share a simple example. My wife is an amazing cook. And one of my favorite meals she makes is spaghetti. Come on now, we all love spaghetti, don't we? See, initially her spaghetti needed improvement, but thanks to a fantastic recipe she found in a cookbook, it became the best I've ever tasted. Now this cookbook provided her with the right ingredients, precise measurements, and a step-by-step -step instruction. See, similarly, as believers, we have a playbook for being in God's will, and it's called the Bible. And some refer it to basic instructions before leaving earth. Now let's explore the Word of God and focus on Romans chapter 12, verse 2 in the NIV version. It says, Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. See, to be in God's will, we must not conform to the patterns of this world. We should reject the actions and thoughts associated with a life of darkness. See, we need to move away from the victim mentality and embrace the reality that we are victors. You know, God wants us to identify the thought patterns that are not aligned with His will. Additionally, being in God's will requires us to transform our minds continuously. Yes, this is a daily practice, much like brushing our teeth or eating three meals a day. Reading the Bible should be an integral part of our daily routine. By renewing our minds, we can discern clearly what is of God and what is not. We can see the difference between things that are bring peace, joy, and blessings versus those that bring pain, chaos, and destruction. You know, it's important to note that God desires for us to seek His will without believing the lie that He is trying to hide it from us. In fact, He has clearly outlined His will in the Scriptures. He has a plan to heal, restore, and prosper us. See, when it comes to discerning God's will, we should start by delving into the scriptures, not relying solely on our emotions or even personal desires. You see, God's word serves as the ultimate authority for discovering and fulfilling his will. Guys, let's take a moment and pray for these four things. One, let's resist temptations of the world. Two, renewing our minds daily. Three, discerning the will of God. And lastly, we should pray for a desire of God's word. Let's go ahead and pray together. God, we come before you right now, Lord. We ask, Father, that you help us through the power of your word, the power of your spirit, that we resist the temptations of the world, God. That we resist, Father, what is not of you, Father. That we resist, Father, our own desires, God. And that we embrace your desires. That we embrace your truth. That we embrace, Father, what you have already have for us, God. And second, God, we come before you, God, to help us renew our minds daily, God. Help us, Father, wash away the things that are not of you. Help us wash away the thoughts that are not of you, God. Help us wash away the emotions that are not of you, God. Help us, Father, every single day renew our minds, Father God. We're constantly being bombarded with thoughts. We're constantly being bombarded with things that are not of you, Father. We're constantly see things that do not honor you, Father. But help us, Father, daily to renew our minds, Father, to be true believers, Father, to be people of your calling, God. We ask right now, Father, for the discerning, Father, that we can discern your will. We can discern, Father, what is right and what is wrong. We can discern what is false and what is truth, God. Help us live a life, God, that honors you, Father. Help us open our eyes, Father, through the power of your spirit, through the will of your word, through the will of, your, of what you have for us, God. Help us discern these things, God. And lastly, God, we pray, God, that every single day, we can wake up and hunger for you. We can wake up and hunger for your word. We can wake up and hunger for a daily bread, not a physical daily bread, but a spiritual daily bread, Father, that would fulfill us, Father, forever, God. We ask this, Father, that you place it inside of us, God, and that you give us, Father, the strength, Father, to make the changes in our lives, Father, so that we can live, Father, in your will, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.